All right, what we want to do now is cover the messages tool. The messages tool is what users in Moodle use to send private messages back and forth. So this means that a student could send a message to another student or they could send you a message. Similarly, you could send a private message to uh, any student that sends you one. So it's private communication. What, it, uh, what the messages tool does is it uses the messages block to do this. So it's a block and we're going to want to locate that block now. And at NJT what we've done is made this a sticky block, which means it's always going to appear in the same place, which is the upper right hand portion of your screen. And you'll notice if you look to the right hand portion of your screen, you see the messages area. So this is where you're going to go to both send and receive messages. Now at one glance what we see is James Marco and you notice the little envelope icon with the one. That means that I have one unread message there. I'm going to show you how to read messages in just a minute, but first what I want to do is show you how to send a message to a user. To do that you're going to want to click on the messages link. And this is going to open up a new window. And in this new window what you're going to see are three tabs. Contacts, Search, and Settings. The Contacts tab are going to have people that you've added to your favorites list. These are users that you've um, either gotten a message from or sent a message to. and You've decided to add them to the Contacts tab so that they always appear here and you don't need to search for them if you want to talk to them in the future. What you'll also notice at the bottom of the screen, the Contacts tab, you also have a list of incoming contacts. And these are people that have sent you messages, and these are messages that you can read directly from um, clicking on the link right here. So we'll do that in a minute, but first I want to show you how to search for a user to send them a message, and then how you can add them to your contacts tab. So if you go to the search tab, what you have the option of doing is entering the name and searching for it. Now this is a tool that's uh, a global tool, so it's going to search for all users associated with all the courses that um, you're assigned to. So basically this can, uh, is the same tool that you can use to communicate with lots of people throughout many different sections. So you have the option of searching either for the whole global database or searching only in your course. If you click only in your course, it will only look for those students officially enrolled in uh, you know, whatever courses you're assigned to teach. So what I'm going to do is type in Reynolds, hit the search button, and all the Reynolds in my courses are going to appear. Now if I wanted to send a message to Bill, what I would do is click on his name, and it's going to open up a new window. I'm going to see his avatar in the upper left hand portion of the screen, and I'm going to have this uh, text field right here where I can compose and send a message. So when I get the message ready, I type it all in. When I hit send message, what this is going to do is send Bill an email letting him know that there's a new message. And when he logs into Moodle, the, under the messages block, he's going to see my name with a little envelope letting him know that he has uh, a mail message from me. Now after sending message, you have a couple options. If you notice this little add contact list, if you click this, you can add that person to your contact list so they appear under your contacts tab. Similarly, you can click Message History and see all the messages that you have sent to uh, that user and that that user has sent back to you. When you're done with this screen, what you're going to want to do is close out of this window and you'll be uh, sent back to the Search tab. Now under Settings, I just want to show you one thing here. Uh, these are the settings that are going to, um, that you can set so that it sends you mail and you can also edit the address that it sends the emails to so that's something that you should be aware of so you could change this if you want to send it to a different address that, uh, from the default email address and uh, we're done talking about how you can search for users and, uh, and send them a message so what we want to do is close out of this and I'm going to want to show you how you could view messages directly from the messages block now what you'll notice is to the right there's a little envelope with the letter 1. Uh, that means that I have one message from him. So if I wanted to view James's message, I would simply click on that envelope. And it will open up a new uh, window. It will show me his avatar. It will show me the message. And I can respond directly to him from this screen by entering my response and clicking send message. So this is basically how the message tool works. Like I said, it's a lot like instant messaging, so the students tend to be familiar with it. 
And once you um, add the people to your contacts list that you send messages to, uh, it's, it's helpful because you can always go back and review anything that you've sent. So it's a lot like the email tool, but it has a more informal uh, look and feel.